What's going on, guys? Thanks for being here. So today we're working on what year's your Mustang, Kai? 03. 03. Working on this 03 Mustang, and what we're doing is setting timing initially. So uh, <laughs> we blow this thing up with nitrous on purpose. On purpose. Uh, so now <laughs> we got a new engine, we got new cylinder heads, and we're putting everything back together. So what we got to do is set timing, and I wanted to walk you guys through a couple of things. So the timing chains I got did not have timing marks on them, and I think this is a common problem that people run into. So uh, I wanted to walk you through this. Kai, can you hold that for me? All right, guys, so we got a lot of junk on the table. But on these chains here, to know where your timing's at, you stretch the chain all the way out, and the two links on the end, that's where your timing marks on the engine have to line up. So if you can see, we got, I marked that, and I marked that. You do the same on both chains. That's where the factory timing marks are out on the chains. So all you do is stretch them out, mark either end, and then from here, you're gonna place one timing mark on the dot right up top. See, there we go right there. And the other one, so this is the back gear. So this one should line up and we'll have to make sure we got that right. So that one should line up with that dot there. There we go. Now I don't have our, you can see I got all kinds of slack here in the chain. I don't have, I don't have the tensioners on, but you want this one to be really tight. That is the, uh, the premise, right? So this one's gotta be tight and this is where all your slack is. So there we go. We've got a timing mark lined up there. We've got our timing mark lined up there. So this one should be about 11 o'clock and then this one is about 12 o'clock. So this one should be right about here and then this one is off a little bit. But same thing, just like that. Now we've actually got all of the lifters out of this. Not the lifters, but the, the, the rollers or the followers. You can see we got all the followers out. So this turns freely. And then once we get the timing set, we'll get all of the guides back in. Then we'll put these back in afterwards. And then we'll spin it around by hand and verify that everything works good and that nothing's catching on it. So we're going to get the uh, timing chain guides on. We'll get all this stuff on here. And then we'll, we'll spin it around and walk you guys through it. So this tool, this goes around the camshaft and this compresses the spring. That way, you got this one? This one. Right Closest one? Mm -hmm. You can get your followers in after you get it timed. Ooh, I don't have a lot of space. Hopefully you can get it in. Got it. Bye. Watch, so we're gonna spin this around and make sure that we don't have any issues with the timing. We're gonna make sure that we don't have any valves hitting any pistons. And you'll be able to tell right away if a valve hits a piston. Woo nice and smooth. And I did lube up the uh, cylinder bores before we started doing this too. I sprayed a little bit of, or I coated them with a little bit of oil just to make sure they'd be nice and smooth. We're ready to go. Last thing we gotta do is pull that out. There we go. Now we're ready to put our timing chain cover back on. Oil pan goes on. We get our valve covers on. <laughs> I don't know about you, but
days later and now it's time to start this thing up so we just got everything buttoned up hopefully the timing's good hopefully we did everything right if it sounds weird shut it off right away okay. we hope for good sounds That did not sound good. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, lots of sadness around here. So, I didn't go through the bottom end very well. I probably should have taken the rod caps off and checked bearing clearances, but I didn't. So, everything sounds good, but we've got a rod knocking. So this is a huge, used junkyard engine. Looks like we've got another engine swap in our future, so we're, we're toying with the idea of doing a 5-4 swap instead of another 4-6, or just grab another 4-6 and put it in here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.